I love writing for young adults because young adults always know if you're lying to them, and I, it's really exciting to write for people who you can just be honest with, and they will appreciate you for it. Young adults still have a flexibility of mind and a hope and a passion to change the world, and I want to tap into that and hold on to it for as long as I can. It is loosely based on a real case that happened in Washington, D.C. and um, has a really great plot twist at the end, like most of my books. It takes place in 1872 New Orleans. The main character, Celine, is the most like me of any character I've ever written. She's mixed race as well, um, and she is fleeing from France because she has killed someone. It features two really complex, ambitious, powerful, angry girls who are allowed to be ambitious and angry. And I loved writing them. It's like Game of Thrones, but less problematic. It's about a kid who's he's tired. He feels like he's growing and no one else in his life is. And he goes to a party and he has too much to drink and he lets a kid hypnotize him. And when he comes out of hypnosis, everyone in his life has a subtle physical change. And so he has to figure out what's going on. It follows three high schoolers who are trying to navigate the intersections of friendship and romance and figure out who it's okay to love. It's a really <laughs> angry book. It's a revenge novel um, about a girl who something bad happens to in the first chapter and she spends the rest of the book captaining this ship in the future, a mining dredge, and there's some mutiny and treason happening and she's trying to solve that while she takes everyone out. So my book Chrysalis is the third in the Project Nemesis series. It will come out in March as well. It is, I can't say anything about it because it would give away everything about it, but it's a book that will finish what I started in the first two. <laughs>